Unlock your life. There are so many people who don't have things that they should have because they are locked down. Mentally locked down. Spiritually locked down. Physically locked down. You need to unlock your life. You've been alive this long and you still don't have an understanding about the way life works. You need to unlock your life. You've been alive this long and you still don't have things that you should have by now. You've been alive this long and you still haven't done things that you should have done by now. You need to unlock your life. After living this many years, you still don't understand that you don't have to be depressed. You still don't understand that you don't have to be oppressed. After living this many years, you still don't understand that you don't have to be broke. You need to unlock your life. God gave us principles to live by. Those principles that we should be living by are the only things that have the power to unlock our lives. If you don't unlock your life, you are going to stay sick. If you never unlock your life, you are going to stay broke. If you don't unlock your life, you are going to stay depressed. You going to stay sick, broke, and depressed for an entire lifetime. If you don't unlock your life, you are going to stay oppressed. You are going to stay bound. You are going to stay mentally and spiritually locked down if you don't use God's principles to unlock your life. Use God's principles to unlock your life. I'm not talking about just going to church because too many people attend church on a regular basis and they are still locked down. You got people that's been in church for a lot of years and their life is still locked. You got people that's been speaking in tongues for a lot of years and their life is still locked. You got people that's been giving the tithes and the offering for a whole lot of years and their lives are still locked. You got people that's been preaching and prophesying for years, but their lives are still locked. You got people that's been singing and shouting for years but their lives are still locked. You got people that's been trying to win other people to Christ for years. They've been teaching other people for years. They've been trying to explain scriptures to people for years, but their own lives are still locked. 
Because the only way to unlock your life is through the principles of God. Too many people are claiming salvation, claiming to know God, claiming to love Jesus, claiming to understand the word, but they still have not unlocked their lives. Jesus said, I will give to you the keys to the kingdom and whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And he said, whatsoever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. A lot of people love to say, I bind this, I bind that. But when have you actually bound those things? You said you bind it, but you never bound it. Plenty of people love to say, I lose money, I lose prosperity, I lose peace. But when have you actually loosed those things? You haven't bound anything and you haven't loosed anything because you never used God's principles to unlock your life. If you don't get an understanding about the principles of God and the power that these principles have to unlock your life, you will forever be bound. And the word tells us that the truth makes us free. The question is, when are you going to free yourself? What God was going to do for you, God did it. What Christ was going to do for you, Christ did it. Now, when are you going to use what God did? When are you going to use what God gave you? When are you going to accept what Christ did for you and unlock your life? When are you going to start living? The only way to live, the only way to unlock your life, the only way to truly be free is through the principles of God. If you follow the principles of God, you are guaranteed good results. If you follow the principles of God, you are guaranteed blessings and miracles. If you follow the truth of God's principles, you are guaranteed to change your life for the better. You can prove this truth to yourself. God is out here for everybody. But if you think God is going to come and force you into the truth, you're dead wrong. If you think God is going to come and prove to you that these principles work, you are sadly mistaken. I spent a lot of years, I spent a lot of valuable time waiting on God to show me different things in my life. Waiting on God to give me different things in my life. Waiting on God to do for me what I wanted or needed done in my life. 
And I found out after a long time that it does not work like that. God gave us the word. God gave us his principles. God gave us his prophets, his pastors to explain the truth to us in order for us to turn around and live by the truth in order for us to turn around and apply these principles to our lives. Now it's on us. When are you going to use the power of God's principles to better your life? It's up to you. When are you going to use God's principles to better your life? What are you waiting on? If you start right now, start today. Don't try to go overboard. Because what happens is people get caught up with trying to prove that they know the word. And they get more into proving that they know it than they are into actually learning so they are really know. People get so caught up in trying to prove that God is on their side until they never actually get God on their side. People get so caught up in trying to prove that they know the scriptures until they never actually get an understanding of the scriptures. So don't try to go overboard. Don't try to prove this to anybody else. Prove it to yourself. Pick one principle and start applying that one principle. You can choose the principle of giving and just start giving. You don't even have to start big. You can start with $1. You can start with a $5 bill and just start giving. Give to somebody in need. Give to your church. And no matter how small you think you're giving, I guarantee you, you're going to see results from applying that principle. You can start with the principle of the power of the tongue. Just pick something that you want to see and start speaking what you want to see in that area. Don't speak nothing else because some folks try to act like they already been walking with God for a hundred years. You're trying to start out. So pick something, just one thing that you want to see. Start speaking over something and watch the results you get from applying that principle. Any principle that you choose, you will see the results of it and you will grow from there. But each and every principle of God works exactly like the word says it works and the more principles you get into the stronger you're going to get at following God's principles and the more you follow God's principles the more blessings you will see in your life the more blessings you see in your life the more you're going to desire to follow God's principles. And the more you desire to follow God's principles, the more it becomes a lifestyle for you to follow God's principles. The more blessings you'll see, the more miracles you'll see, and the more blessings and the more miracles that you see, the more you will realize that you had the power the whole time to unlock your life.